We're talking about Obey Fran, one of the leaders for Obey. We're talking about the upcoming uh, RC. So I really want to get into the nitty gritty of like Obey and the Obey RC for this video. Because I know a lot of people probably watching want to know uh, basically how, what you guys are looking for, what can make you stand out and stuff. So I kind of want to focus more on, on that side than uh, just ask you like, you know, who's your favorite players and stuff like that, which we can do yeah. in a future video if you want. <laughs> I knew it would be annoying mind. though. I don't mind, I don't mind. I'll answer what I can. What are you guys mainly looking for? Is it just players? Is it just streamers? Is it content creators? Because Obey has done everything in the past. Like it, it's, it's not, it's a huge organization. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're gonna be, pick, we're literally gonna be picking up a little bit of everything. So we're gonna uh -huh. be picking up some content creators, some streamers, and if I want some players as well. Like I've been told that I don't need to necessarily pick anybody up. But if someone goes off, like, by all means, I can if I want to. So th that decision is completely up to me. What are you guys looking for variety-wise with Call of Duty for your side? For the multi-cod side, for guys grinding on old games, <coughs> what are you guys looking for for Obey? Because if one guy's going to grind something, he, I think people watching want to know what what you guys are looking for instead of just wasting his time for the next couple of weeks. I mean, let's be honest, we're kind of at the point where it's really hard to be different when it comes to multi-cod because everything has really been done. I kind of want people to not go full out and try different games like they're not good at and they're going to waste a week not hitting a clip on it. Like, I'd say stick to the games that you're best at and just try to absolutely go off on them. Just try your absolute hardest. Even if it's like because Modern Warfare or something? Wh whatever game it is, if you're good at that one game, it will show. Like, I'd rather see... Let's say, for example, we have a player and he plays MW2, MW3, and on World of War, he literally only hits one quad feet. And then on MW3, he hits like three sixes, MW2 hits like two fives. Like, he hits really nice clips on these quads, but uh -huh. just nothing World of War. I'd rather just them stick to them two quads that they're good at and just bang them out. Because it will show, it will make the overall response better. Would you, would you rather see a response just on one game or would you rather see a response on multiple games? I think that depends on the player. I would like to see multi-cod, obviously. Yeah. But I mean, I think we all no like multi-cod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, I definitely see what you're saying. You'd rather see crazy clips from a guy who only plays one game who he's good at than just see a response with, you know, quad feeds on multiple games you know yeah i totally get that um and it's hard when you're recruiting i mean i've never been in a lead position to recruit but i think it'd be hard trying to figure out um exactly what to look for and stuff like that i, yeah, I can I mean. definitely see i could definitely see where you're coming from with that one is it just kind of a toss-up on how many guys you looking to recruit or do you are is there like a set number like five people for sure we, we literally do not have a number do not have a number as I said, like I could, I could end up picking up three streamers, two content creators, and one sniper. It could be three snipers, two streamers, five content. Like I don't know. I, it just if they're good enough, really, we'll kind of pick them up, you know. Uh huh. I don't think we any of us have actually set an actual number. I'm I'm easily impressed by multicod. See, that's the same thing for me. I love watching multicod because if someone just uploads one response and it's all. It's all one game that maybe I'm not too fond of, like Ghosts, for example. If if they're a really yeah. great Ghost player and they upload a response which is all Ghosts, I yeah. you know I still would consider them as a Ghost player and I still like watch the clips. But if they threw in some other games in there, it would be I'd be more inclined because I'm like, okay, well this guy plays other games as well. He's not just gonna be Ghosts, but you know. I, I'm not like in a leader position, so I'm just... No, no, it's true, it's true, it is true. I, I'm just at the point where I don't want people to spend a week on a game they're not good at and not hit anything and then feel bad about themselves. Because we've all gone for our season, we've all done it, we've all tried to be different and uh -huh. then absolutely like ruined our chances. It's so, like, I really don't want that to happen for people. I'm yeah. trying to like recommend them to do what they're best at. This guy asks, do you like to see someone that provides variety? Like they snipe, they stream, they upload, etc." Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like if you do that, you could have a bigger chance of joining. If you're good at all three, you're obviously gonna have more of a chance over than someone who just, mm. for example, plays and streams. Like if you're good at all three, it's gonna be much better for you. What if you take a person who doesn't have all that time to play because they work 40 hours a week, they, upload a video to YouTube every single day, and they also run a podcast three times a week, what would you say to that person? Uh, <laughs> well, 
No, nah, man. I, I, I don't have I don't have that much time to play, man. I'm 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 uploading a video every day. I I, I want to know how how it's gonna work out. Are you asking about yourself? No, no, no. To totally unrelated to the situation. That's definitely not me. No, I mean, I'd just say keep <laughs> doing what you're doing. Like, you've obviously recently started this podcast thing, and it's going pretty well. Uh -huh. I'd say keep doing them. You're almost about to get partnership. So, like, they have Dude. improved a lot recently. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, that's that's the goal, man. The partnership, that would be crazy. Especially in this small yeah. community. Because um, it seems like with streaming and stuff, everyone's kind of doing the same thing. Every everyone... Everyone who's watching is usually the same people always watching other streams, you know, supporting. Um, agreed, agreed. So it's, it's it's definitely cool that I'm getting so much support for these. And it's cool to talk to people like the leader of fucking Obey right now, guys. So, you know, he's given us the insight on how to join. Uh, any big tips that you can just blatantly just recommend that you want to see from people? It's gonna sound very basic, but have fun. Have fun. And I say this for one reason. If you're not having fun and you're playing, making videos, streaming, stressing out, your content, your clips aren't it's gonna show. It's just all not gonna be as good. Yeah. If you're if you're sitting back relaxed, actually having fun, you're gonna be motivated, you're gonna wanna do it. Everything will be higher quality. Like it is a very basic thing, have fun. I guess everyone says it, but <clears> when you actually look into it, it is so true. No, for sure. No, it's definitely true. Here's a question from the chat. This is huge. Are mods allowed? No, no mods. The only the only types of mods like I don't mind people having jailbreaks and stuff because we're kind of at the point where we need them to play multi card. Like yeah, I mean, you look just at get sniping so many modders. I'll allow them to like kick modders like that. I'm completely fine with that. I don't mind. I mean, if people are like caught in modded lobbies or anything, videos like it's not going to touch an obey video. Like I can't force people to not play. Like, for example, let's say there's a cod four rex going on. I uh -huh. can't make people not play them because at the end of the day, they they can be fun. But they're just not going to touch any obey videos. Would you would you be safe to say that you're holding the RC at the same standard as Snipe and Showdown right now? Like people are allowed to use like kick modders and use force host, or are you just only modders are uh, the only kind of mods you can use to kick modders? No, I'd say similar to um, Snipe and Showdown, just force host to kick modders. That's all I'm allowing. Uh, Pink wants to know: Is there going to be an editor RC, or do you plan to pick up any editors? Um. I'm honestly not sure. I was just told to cover the COD part, but yeah. I'd assume, like, I know we're covering all categories, but obviously that's not down to me. Like, a lot of people seem to think it is, but that's down to Avium and Stolen. They're the lead editors. Like, I don't really know much about editing. If I see something, it's cool. I can't just pick you up off it. It's hard to judge yeah. editing, too, because an edit that I might like and enjoy, it's all subjective because someone else might not like it. So it's very subjective yep. for that. Have you ever been in a in a Discord with an editor when you're watching a Taj? You think it's amazing and they're just picking out every little part. I know, dude. That's the worst. That is the worst. I watched some ed, uh, I watched a montage with Alistair and he just tore it apart and I enjoyed it. <laughs> I was like, what is yep. what is the big deal? He's like, oh, he used that effect, and I'm like, what effect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's all subjective. So I mean, yeah, it, that's all I can say is it's all subjective. If they do an edit R, uh, an edit RC, that'd be awesome. Because I know there's a bunch of editors out there who want to join. Um, but yeah. you guys will just have to wait and see when it comes out. Um, hopefully this weekend, like he mentioned earlier. Would you be more inclined to pick up someone who is submitting a clip response, but also streams on the side as well? I mean, it would be cool if they did that. Like, obviously it can bump their chances. Uh huh. Yeah. But I'm not going to say no to just someone who hits straight clips as well. They're just going to have to be better, obviously. Like, we're not going to recruit an average player over uh, an average player who streams as well if you get what i mean are you guys gonna be looking for like s just for player wise you know people with so many clips are you gonna be looking for them putting out like mini dodges and stuff for like fails and stuff all the way up to the rc or do you would you just rather just have one final video where uh they submit a clip for all their best clips and stuff uh well obviously it's good to kind of pump out videos during the rc but that's on them because obviously they can build their own little fan base during that because whenever people go for rcs people kind of root for each other mm -hmm. so you can kind of build your own fan base from doing stuff like that but obviously we'll go down to the final response yeah we'll look at your other videos for but obviously sure. we know some of them are going to be pumped out so they're not going to be like the highest of standards when you would have had a month to record for a video you know like we will put that into consideration obviously yeah no i think it's good to to put out videos just my preference um if you're going for the rc just clips and you're not streaming, you're not making videos, I think it's good to put out like, you know, maybe some clips that you're not gonna use just to show that you're constantly playing and just, you actually give a crap 
instead of just like, yeah. oh, you know, I recorded here with my clips. That was the old way to do it back in the day. That's how a lot of people got in. But, it, you know, times have changed. No one wants to see all that stuff. You know, Call of Duty views for montages and stuff are oh, really down. So no one wants to recruit you if you're just not going to put in the effort to show that you want to want to be recruited you know would you pick up a knifer to obey interesting question i was asked this a couple of times if they were good enough maybe but the thing is if it was a straight knife like i'd probably want them to do content as well mm -hmm. i'd want them like i wouldn't pick up a straight only knife like i'd want them to do something else as well i would love to see someone who like is a knifer and do like a series like road to like a knifing quad feed or road to a five on or something like just to show the play style and maybe if you have like a face cam or something like that well, there used to be a knifer uh I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he was in obey uh called slade yeah he was in obey slade but he made he made content he was a leader of xjmx as well uh -huh. but he made like very 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 enjoyable videos like i love them mm -hmm. so like if someone were to make like videos like him like that would be very very cool to see at least yeah, no, definitely. I would, I personally would watch a video if someone did like, like a cut com or something where they show their play style for knifing and stuff. Cause I, I'd be interested in watching it, especially if it's on one of the yeah, older that's games. Really was. Cut com with like clips and funny moments, like yeah. edited well as well. It was enjoyable, very enjoyable. I think that's about it. Um, I'll, I'll turn it over to you if you want to say anything um, before we, uh, before we end the podcast, but we pretty much covered everything you need to know, you know, streamers, content creators, snipers, knifers. Yeah, you can go back and anyone can watch this video and pretty much get a gist of what you're looking for. I'll turn it over to you if you want to say anything. Uh, I mean, I don't really have anything to say apart from what I said earlier. If anyone didn't hear, I'd just say have fun during this RC. At the end of the day, we're just all here playing COD. We're trying to have fun. Like, enjoy it because it will really show in your in your content in your streams or whatever it is you're doing yeah. I, that's it's the only thing i can really recommend to you guys well man friend thanks for coming on talking about obey i'm definitely down to do this again in the future if you wanted to bring like an obey podcast where we have multiple obey guys on i think that would oh, be pretty yeah. cool we'll um, be done for that yeah other than that guys i'm gonna start a raid i think i'm gonna raid chai and uh we're gonna be into the stream so thank you guys for coming on uh, and uh yeah I'll, I'll switch it over to Chai.